This is Luke Radowski of WeAreChange.org reporting to you from Europe and I'm making this video primarily for my safety but to also possibly safeguard you from being set up. And just a few hours ago I received an email on my old private high school email. Not my work email, not my We Are Change email, but my old high school email. And the email was from an unknown client. It was from a Tor email server and it had an attachment and it said something about a leak. Now, automatically knowing this, I had to find a new laptop. I found another laptop that wasn't connected to me and I looked into this email. The email specifically stated that this person that was sending me this email was a whistleblower, was a leaker that actually attended the 2013 Bilderberg meeting. That he had raw JPEG pictures of everything that happened, of the attendees, and he wanted us to have the exclusive. He told us to download these pictures and to break the story to the world and show everybody what happened. Now, obviously, I was interested, and I scrolled down. Now, luckily, Yahoo uh, email servers actually let you preview pictures before downloading them. And when I scrolled down, I actually saw graphic, horrible, inhumane pictures of child pornography. Now, if I would have downloaded these images onto my computer and I would have re-entered the United States, just like I will be in a couple days, I would have went through customs. A few years ago when I tried to enter Canada, I went through customs, I was put to the side, and everything I had was searched, including my laptop, which was taken to the side and investigated by forensic scientists for five hours. Now. If this would have happened this time, and I didn't know about the rules and laws, I would have been automatically charged with a felony. Minimum five years in jail, maximum 20, 20 years in jail, and I wouldn't have been able to plead my case until months later on. I would have been arrested, had to go to bail hearings, and then months after that, actually have a court hearing to... Uh, clear my name of all misdoings but this could have very easily taken away my work my dignity my freedom my reputation and destroyed my life very luckily that didn't happen and I'm making this video to make sure it doesn't happen but every year around June right around the Bilderberg meeting something happens Last year, my friend Mike P. of We Are Change Milwaukee was interrogated by DHS about me. They were asking him questions about my whereabouts, what I was wearing. And then hours after that, me and my friend Tim Poole were pulled over by DHS at gunpoint and terrorized with the, uh, by the Chicago PD. A couple years before that, I received death threats with personal information that nobody else would know. Even a couple years before that, my girlfriend started getting death threats. People started playing really dirty tricks. Now, my message to all the truth seekers and journalists and investigative reporters is be smart. Watch your back. But most importantly, never ever open an attachment that you don't recognize is from that, that you don't know. Follow me on twitter.com forward slash Luke We Are Change or facebook.com forward slash Luke We Are Change to see how this trip goes. And if something does happen, we'll make sure to post it on there. Thank you so much for your support. Wish us luck and watch your backs.